Yeah. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon to you all. Um, it has been a minute, long minute, since I have done a um, live stream for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Not Yu-Gi-Oh! This is not Yu-Gi-Oh! No, this is The Legend of Zelda. Um, as you can tell through my voice, it is still kind of in and out, so please understand that that is a thing. Um, but unfortunately, I have no control over it. Um, oh, excuse me. So, if you do hear me pop in a couple of uh, cough drops and stuff, yeah, that's because my voice is just, it's done. It's trying to survive, but it is just so much going on that, um, being sick, trying to maintain everything, keeping myself focused, it's just so much going on. So, I do thank and appreciate everyone um, who is coming out to watch my videos and stuff. Because there is a lot to talk about today. Um, in terms of just videos and stuff going on and um, recaps and everything. So, I'm sure a lot of people... Oh, excuse me, who watch the channel, are more excited to see all of that. Why do I have two things set up to check the one thing set up to? There we go. Sorry, I'm just making sure that everybody on Instagram knows that I am live uh, right now with the Legend of Zelda. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I mean, Twitter is already a shithole, and don't worry, we'll have plenty of time to talk about that today as well. So, it is so much to talk about. Um, so. Okay. All right. So that's all said and done. That's all put together. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the game so we can have that together. <clears throat> I forgot it changed everything here. Jesus, I forgot all about this. Okay, good, yeah, good. So we're gonna load up the last Which I believe I was outside of Dungeon 6, or I think I just finished Dungeon 6. Or we're on our way to Dungeon 6. We're on our way to, excuse me. We're on our way to Dungeon 7, I just got another potion. So, alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the Legend of Zelda. Um, we are at Dungeon 7 in today's live stream and playthrough. And, oh, no, 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 I didn't want to do that, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I need to remove my, my, my magical boomerang. Um, in the last session, I believe we should only have two more dry pieces, Triforce pieces left. Um, we need the one from Dungeon 7 and the one from Dungeon 8. We did receive, I mean, in the last dungeon, we did obtain the um magical boomer no we didn't get the boomerang we got the um the magic rod this allows us to do magical spells on our enemies fun fact until we get the book of magic this is the only thing that the item will do um it is supposed to set fires but it's also funny because i think the next dungeon also is supposed to give us the red candle which even though <laughs> excuse me the red candle um, is a great weapon. Um, sadly enough, the red candle 
fails in comparison to the full Book of Magic and all of the things that the Book of Magic itself can potentially do. So right now, um, what I'm doing is I'm just, yeah, I'm just farming um, items and stuff for um, potential stuff in the future for a future dungeon. So, because we do still have dungeon, we still have dungeon 7. Oh, I think I gotta go get a thing from Grumble Grumble. I think I gotta get some shifty meat so I can, um, pay Grumble Grumble. I do believe Dungeon 8 is gonna have my last item, which is the upgrade to the bomb, which is gonna be substantial, because we're definitely gonna need to upgrade to the bombs, because that will give us 16 bombs instead of 12. Because as you can see right now, our total is 12 bombs. Um, because we had went back to Dungeon 6 to get the upgrade for the bombs. Um, this is a great upgrade, if any, because it is, of course, the massive upgrade we need for, um, for, I mean, if you just want to form items, or just farm rupees and stuff. Uh, you come here to the graveyard and you farm the Gini. Um, it does sound a little racial, I'm not gonna lie. So you can call them ghosts, because that's essentially what they are. They are the ghost. Um, and all you gotta do is hit the main ghost on the screen, lock them a couple of times, and then bam. You get all of these cool items, uh, rupees, um, stopwatches and stuff like that it's a great way to farm um if you if that's what you're trying to intentionally do so one of the things is you use the magical boomerang it allows you to hit the mangoes in place um once the mangoes is in place you spam the boomerang till it's time for you to um kill the mangoes because you should have the, the magical sword at this point uh, I don't know what the ghost is. Guess I'm the ghost. One of you guys is the main ghost. Oh, there it goes. Bam. Yep, yeah, and then you can just do this. And then just fine. So, yeah, excuse me if I my cough, because my cough is still from, um, I'm dealing with my sick. Um, I don't think there's any more ghosts to. Oh, there's one here. Okay. Yeah, um, I've been sick for the last week or so. Um, going on two weeks now. So, what it basically is, is we don't exactly know what's going on in California. We just know that um, the school district that I work for. They got hit with a nasty bug um, a couple of weeks ago, um, and we thought it was COVID. Um, a lot of people have been taking COVID tests, like left and right, including myself. I actually need to go take my second COVID test because I got a couple COVID tests. But um, it isn't COVID from what it seems. It just seems like it could be either flu, which sadly enough is a sign of COVID. But I've tested negative for COVID because I've done like a whole bunch of tests um, within the last couple of days. So, luckily enough, oh my god, it's fucking Lionel. Um, so I am okay in terms of that, but it's, it is emotionally, physically, and just mentally draining to have to deal with so much. So, that's why I didn't stream um, the last time because. I was just not up to it, um, and luckily enough, I'm glad many of you guys are okay and understand that that is a high priority, like, health is your high, I know it's gonna fucking die, it's okay, but health is a priority, I need to get that, I need to get this Zelda engine up, actually, because if I'm not mistaken, um, anyway, let me get Zelda engine Fuck. Okay, hold on, cause I gotta restart the stream. Did I forget my damn VPN password? So, if anyone wants 
to know what exactly is going on on that end. No, it's just because I have to reconnect my live stream because my VPN won't let me do it. Okay, so I should be reconnecting. Give it a second. I do have to. Okay, there it goes. Okay. So, yeah, my message should be alright. So, um... Where are we now? We're on Dungeon 7. We're on the Demon. Um... We need to get that grade A shifty meat. And then we have to do the, uh... Yeah, we need bait. Mm. For dungeon seven. Um, we can get the cheapest bait is right there on the bay of the overworld. Um, it's in a Stalfo. No, it's in a it's in a it's in a um and then, and then, and then, what's his name? A, it's in a dark net. Um the dungeon itself is actually in the second pond next to the fairy fountain. What you need to do is blow the whistle and it will drain the water. So, the item we get here, I believe, is the red can- yeah, it's the red candle. And that's what we get. There is some rupees here as well. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to get these rupees. Um, and get the cup and get the red candle. The red candle is just an upgrade to the blue candle and we'll replace the blue candle. You can use the red candle in multiple times, unlike the um, red candle. Well, I mean the blue candle, which only lets you use it once. I believe the boss for this dungeon. I'm looking at it now because it's supposed to be in the shape of a demon. Um, is it? Is it meant? Is it no? One, two dead doggers, two land mola. But are you serious? Yeah, they're serious. The dongos with robes. No, oh, they are not playing in this dungeon. Oh my god, there are so many enemies here. Um, I don't believe there's any secret warts. Yeah, two Maldorm. We got, um, Dig Doggers. Four Dig Doggers. Oh my god. I can't. Oh, the the bombs guys here. So get the 16 bombs. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I need 100 rupees. Because he's in the room with the compass. Near the compass. Okay. Um. Oh, Jiraz. Oh, Jiraz bubbles. Lanmola. What's the boss of the dungeon? Oh, there is some rupees here. Grab ten rupees. But it's not a lot of rupees, so. Looks like I have to farm for rupees. Okay, so where the Garayas are, that's where the red candle is. There's some more Garayas. Okay, and I believe the boss of the dungeon is. Is it the. It's not the Dango? Oh, it's Aquamentus. Okay, so the boss of the dungeon is Aquamentus. Okay. So, it's Aquamentus. Um. Grumble Grumble. Dig Doggers. Um. Dig Dongos. How many rooms are Dongos? Because I saw one room with the Dongos. So, just one room with the Dongos. Oh, two rooms. Encounter the Dongos, you defeat these Dongos, they will have 5 rupees for you as a reward. It's not worth much, but you just get them using the key to go ahead. Mm. 
Oh, so the door does. Oh, oh shit, the door locks behind you. So you do have to defeat the Dodonos. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, so where are they from the entrance? Um. I see bomb over the wall. I see a lot of bomb over the walls. I'm gonna need a lot of bomb. Oh! That's not fun. Okay. So where the Dodongos are, they're next to the guy um, with more bombs. So you have to defeat the Dodongos to get the bomb upgrade. Great. That's always needed. Okay. At least it's 100 rupees, but I still gotta buy the cheap meat. So I need 160 rupees. I'm just looking at the other, I think the last, Dungeon 8. Dungeon 8, you're the lion. Okay. So let's go ahead, let's start, um, getting us some money and saving up so we can get the bomb upgrade as well as the rupees and uh, do a crumble crumble. So chat and YouTube. I hope all of you are doing extremely well. Um, there is a lot to talk about because there's a lot that's been going on. Uh, do I need another potion? No, I don't need another potion. Okay, good. Um, because there's been so much going on. Uh, with Twitch, with YouTube, with Twitter, it's just been a, a crazy, crazy thing. So, um, the Twitch... I mean, well, we can talk about Twitter now, because I think that's probably the smartest thing to talk about. Actually, do I need the shifting meat? Yeah, I do need the shifting meat. I guess I gotta go get some shifting meat. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, what's going on? If you guys haven't already heard it, Bond Bus going fucking rapid with Twitter and all the shit going on with Twitter. It's just a hot ass mess. Um, yesterday, uh, there was a thing of uh, he tried to set in the place that you couldn't post link tree links and stuff like that to uh, to other websites, like basically promoting your business or your your livelihood and um twitter had no had no time for that and elon had to fix this little issue um because uh what he didn't know or what many of people told him was, uh, hey you can't do that because certain countries uh that's against their that you're violating rules of theirs and he had to get back on Twitter and delete the post. Yeah, it was crazy mess. From what the post originally read, you cannot use Linktree links or any of sort of affiliate links. Because those affiliate links <coughs> excuse me, were companies that were against Elon um, in his buyout of Twitter. Uh, <coughs> excuse me from what I've heard. Sorry, it is this cough, this cough is not going anywhere. I wonder if I'm thirsty. I probably am. I'm sure I'll some more water. I'll probably get it when I take my other break, when I take my first break. <laughs> but. Yeah, it was a whole lot of it going on yesterday, and it was just bananas. Um, and apparently, I didn't notice Europe has a big violation against stuff like that, where you can't um, prohibit 
businesses from sharing through social media. Um, I didn't know that. I don't live in Europe, so I um I didn't know that was a thing. But I guess city here in America also had it as a violation. <coughs> Excuse me as well. Um, also goes against TLS violations as well. Excuse me for certain websites because uh, apparently uh, Facebook and them also have a thing where you can't block them off. And in certain countries, you also have to remember they don't have. Uh, a lot of social media outlets. I know China is one of them, which the Chinese government does not allow um, the use of Facebook because they don't like Zuckerberg. Uh, for many of obvious reasons. But, yeah, it's a lot of that going on. Um, the dungeon is up here, but we're gonna go farm. If I knew where those, um, money shifting things were I definitely would take advantage of it so I can find it let me see if the other dungeon has a couple of those um, the original legend of Zelda um, possibles, no. secret room piece box okay. let's see 30, 30, 30, 100. According to this map, there's a 30 rupee one below me. How do we get to it? because I'm trying to see what this is. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm actually going to create the, uh, the desert. Do you need to flute for this? Oh, you need to whistle. Okay. Oh, places where you need to play the whistle. Okay. Well, I'm here for this one, but I already have the blue candle. I think I already have this one. No, I don't. It's a secret to everyone. 30. Oh, 10. Um. Hope it's not giving me the one for second quest. No, 10 will be. Um. The forest. Somewhere over here. And it says I need the whistle. <laughs> I need the whistle or do I need the candle? Okay, I need the candle. And it's the which bush is it? Okay, it's the, it's the bush in the triangle. Okay. So it's this one right here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's so close to work. Okay, why is this not working? 
What is it not directly on the plane? It says to burn the bush. Do I need the red candle? Excuse me. Sorry, let me eat my son. Okay, I'm back. Ugh. I have a cough drop in my mouth. Well, why is this not working? This bush is supposed to burn. it properly I'm so confused yeah, it's not burning it's supposed to burn but yeah there's a lot of bullshit going on on Twitter and people are not happy about it um so yeah it has made a lot of people very unhappy and very antsy um, and even to the point where some people are like, I might as well just leave Twitter. I'm, I'm also one of the people that's like, yeah, I feel like leaving Twitter myself because it's just, Elon's Twitter is not what Twitter was originally meant to be. And he is really just sucking the fun out of it. Like, you know, being on Twitter and interacting with people socially. Alright. More bombs. I don't need more bombs. Why use my fucking candle? Um where this goes, this goes. Okay, yeah, this goes down here to the edge of the This should be a good. <coughs> oh, a hint guy. No, that's not what I want. Well, um, according to this, it's supposed to be a. No, no, no. Okay, I'm in the wrong location. Oh, this is second quest. No wonder I'm getting the location wrong. That's second quest. Oh, no, I'm supposed to be doing first quest.
We're gonna go back to where that was. I need a bomb. Okay. Now I need to bomb the wall. Over here. Like, wait a minute. Let's say exactly where the bomb needs to be placed. Oh, okay. We need to crack. Oh, one second. Oh, God, so many different things up. So over here. Bam. And it should be 30 rupees. We're almost done. Um, level 30. Did I get the one for a hundred? No. It's on the lost woods. Further up. And that gives me a hundred rupees. Yeah. So let's see this one. I'm supposed to use the fire to get it. Oh, and a nice shortcut too. Alright, and go here. And it's a secret to everyone. Wow, you're rupees. Nice. Okay, so I should have my grumble grumble. Yep, I got my meat. I'm a great Yusuke meat. I'm gonna go up. I can go heal. And then it's trying to take on. Oh, never mind. We can go ahead. So, um, Dungeon 7 is here in the lake. And all you have to do is play the fruit. And bam! Ladies and gentlemen, Dungeon 7, that the demon, uh, I believe going to the left, we should see our first, um, dig, yep, dig dogger, so, um, and we should have enough bombs to take on the, um, dig dog, not dig doggers, the, well, the dig doggers, the land models and, and all of that, uh, we, Oh, that was rupees. Okay. So yeah, one of these rooms has the um, big boy. Oh no, it has the set of the dongos, and we have to kill the dongos. Go to your ass. Go to your ass. Go to your ass. Go to your ass. I love you guys. Why? You guys are not a threat. All right, more bombs. Yeah, these are just gonna drop bombs like crazy. So if you're ever low on bombs, this is the dungeon that's definitely gonna give you a, a fuck ton of bombs. No, we don't need you create a shift you meet. Not yet, anyway. But, um... Oh, nice! Um, hold on one second. I want to make sure I'm in the right room. So we're gonna leave in this. I'm gonna go to the demon. Okay. I already have my shifty meat. So I am in the room with the bats. I can bomb the wall above me here, and it should lead me to a room full of stuffos. Let me get my bow and my boomerang. I don't need my bow yet. Alright, and this should be the style for us. Hit it. Yeah, so that's the style for us. Don't worry, once we get our, um... Once we get our, our bomb upgrade, we'll have more bombs. Also helpful against the blue. Oh, there's our compass. Thank you. Okay, um, what else is in there? In this room, uh, we can go east. 
there is a room to the west. And there is a secret in the tip of the nose. That's, I believe, for Dungeon 8. Uh, Dig Dogger. What does Dig Dogger have? Bombs. Okay. There's a key with room full of ropes. So we need to get to the to Dongos. Okay, so we need to go east. From where we are. Get to the Dodongos. Yes, more Gojiras. Gojira, Gojira, Gojira. I don't think the Gojiras make any later appearances. If they do, that's awesome. Um, I believe this is the room with the. Yeah, with the um, Dodongos. Who just like smoke. Thank you! Just one. Okay. Guess I'm gonna have to do this the legitimate way. And blow their asses up. Yeah, so... The Dungos! We do see them in later Legend of Zelda games. Um... A Heart of Swarp is nice. So, in this room to the north of the Dodongo room. With we don't have a key! Okay, it's fine. We can go down. And it should be a room with some, uh, I'll say keys. Uh, we should find the room with the Gojira. Uh, this room here is just off new bombs. So you can, um, yeah, the ropes here, they go. Um, it's just to help you get, um, yeah, there are a lot of rupees here. Yeah, I think this is just to help you get rupees and stack rupees and bombs. So you can get the, um, the bomb upgrade but if you know where the secrets are then you'll be fine i got the secrets wrong yeah i got that secret it was a secret a secret for second quest i bet you like to have more bombs i sure do thank you pay him 100 rupees and you get 16 bombs so now we can take on the rest of this dungeon so, where we are now, we are in the Dodongo world. Um, leaving the Dodongo world, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So, if we go to the Gojira room, and we go up, there's gonna be a room full of Gojira, blue bubbles, and bats. Uh, north of that room is the Jig Dogger. If we go to the, if we bomb the wall to the east, we'll find a room full of Manmola. And that room will have um, a key. We use that key to get to Grumble Grumble Guy. And we, then we can blow up Grumble Grumble Guy. So, right. So, we need to go up. I love having a map on here, especially for when I'm doing stuff like this. Fun fact, in my, um, my own playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, um, I have not beaten, um, that variation yet. On my way. Thank you. Come here. Um, Dig Dogger. Whistle. And then fuck him up. Oh yeah, this is a dig dogger that turns into three dig dogs. Mini dig doggers. But you should have the better sword, so. Alright, and I believe it is a bombable wall. Hold on. Yeah, it is a bombable wall. Alright. Oh my god, this cord is up too. Okay. I'm gonna move you here. Move you here. Okay, there we go. So, uh, yeah, so we need bombs. Again. Like I said, this dungeon is going to be full of enemies. They're going to give you bombs. So, um, to the north of this room. Uh, cause, by the way, this is not the boss of, of the dungeon. You'll hear the boss, but this is not the boss room. 
Um, the boss room is actually to the north. Um, but you can't hear the boss. Not only do you, yeah, you can't bot. <coughs> you can't bomb this wall. They make sure of that too. So you can't see from this break. Um, so the room to the north of this is the room with some Gojiras and stuff. And just the room with east is more Gojiras. So Gojira, Gojira, Gojira. I take out these Gojiras and you can go to the north. Um, I would advise you to get your grade D shifty meat ready because you really need it. Because he's going to check for the grade D shifty meat. Alright, you got some. So, yeah, let's get the grade D shifty meat ready. Alright, go north. And grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, B. There you go. Alright, grumble, grumble guy, let us pass. And we go north. Uh, this room may be dark, but actually there are entrances to it. So, first off is get your blue candle. Light your blue candle. Uh, there's the dungeon map. Um, let's switch to my magic wand. For my long range. For my long range. Combat. So I can take on the keys. Because I forgot this bubble was here. To north of us, that that is a bombable wall. Which we're gonna bomb right now. Okay. And that holds rupees. We are gonna come back to this room, so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the candle. And grab my rupees. And we can go east and bomb this wall. Because all of the enemies in this dungeon are nothing but Gariahs, so we wanted to mention an issue there with the Gariah. Alright. Because this is probably your least threatening enemy in Zelda. Because um, the these are enemies that you don't even encounter on the map. You encounter these in the, only in the dungeon. Alright, um... To the east is a key. I don't need that key because we're going to need it for later. With uh, another one full of Gojira. Gojira, Gojira, Gojira! Mm -hmm. Alright. Eh, 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 there we go. Come on. Alright, got the key. Oh, oh that's right, because I can't leave the room until I defeat the enemies. So, yeah, we gotta kill the Gojiras. To get out the room. There we go. Right, go, go, we go. All right, and if we go here, these doors will open. We can go to the south now with another room full of Gojiras, and we can take them on. Okay. Uh, we need to make our way to the blue candle. So I'm trying to see on the map where the blue candle is. We don't need to go to the east. That room is going to break out our key. Um, I'm trying to see where is the room with the key. Okay, that's section B. Okay, that's A. So from here, where the staircase A take us to? I'm trying to see where A takes us to. Because one of these rooms is supposed to take us to our blue candle. To be. Okay, but where's the candle? Did I go the wrong way? I might have went the wrong way. Hold on, guys. I'm just trying to see where the candle is. Second dick talker. Okay. Okay. I have to look for you. Okay. Um. 
Okay. So I am going in the right direction. So where I am here, I need to bomb this wall. And I need to go east. Okay, and then I should be on room full of Gojira. To the south of me is the boss. Which is an Aquamentis. Um we don't need to worry about Aquamentis right now. What we need to worry about is getting our candle. Which is right there. Damn Aquamentis, you are fucking loud. Um, let's get our boomerang so we can deal with the keys. Um yes. Alright, upgrade. Now we have our upgrade to our um Yep. Thank you. Alright, so now we have the upgrade to our boomerang. Alright, we have our candle. So we need to go back to the room where the Gojiras are. Uh, I need to have maps open. I don't have a skeleton. I don't have a skeleton. Okay. So I need to go. Okay, door with key, door with key. I should have two keys. I have two keys. Where's my second key? Is it with the... Hold on, where is it? That's where my key is. Okay, I need to go back to the first, to the front of the dungeon. There's a room full of enemies and I need to kill them. They have my second key. I'm a key short. I was like, why do I have all my keys? Yeah, I'm missing a key. By the way, we can now use the red candle. Red candle. Oh. Yeah, this is one of those rooms where you need to kill all the enemies in it in order to progress. No, I didn't... Shit. Thank you. It, that's not helping me, Fairy. Oh, fuck. It wasted my key. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, fuck. Okay. There is another key, and I can't go get it. It's where the Stafos are. Um, I gotta get past Aquamentus. Oh yeah, and I forget some of these rooms still closed. So you gotta kill the enemies in it. Your bombs with the head as well. <coughs> mm, this is a bombable doorway. Okay, so I need to go eat west. <coughs> I need to go. Okay. Um, no, I went too far. Let me go south. in it? Yeah, okay. This is used to have a key in it. I know this is a room with a bottom of a wall. Okay. Then go back south. I think there should be some keys here. Yeah. Okay, that's the master keys. <coughs> we need to go to the 
Yeah, we need to go this way. Grumble, grumbles. Nice. Okay. And then this way. Um, that room leads to a man with a kink. This one is Dick Dogger. Should be, yep, that stuff was, it has a key in it. Alright, we're not hard. Okay, so now we take this key and we need to go back up. <coughs> and to the bottom of this is the room with, that we've already been through. It has some land molas in it. Um, uh, I believe to the north of us is the guy that tells us about the. Yeah, there's a secret in the tip of the nose. That's the indication for Dungeon 8. Okay. Need my red candle now. Because um, Dungeon 8 has our Book of Magic. So let's see, we're going to go back up. So the room I need to get to... Uh, we are in this room. We are next to the room. Okay, so. Okay. I'm trying to see where this key is needed. So. Okay, this key is needed to help us get to the room where the Garayas are. They have bombs. We need to go east. Excuse me, to the room where the dig dogger is. is. But once you beat the dig dogger, we need to go to the room with the um we need to go to the other room. That other room has three more uh dodongos. We need to kill those dodongos so that we can advance into the dungeon. There's gonna be a room full of wall masters and we need to beat them up. So this should be the room. With the Garaya that we can walk in. Okay. Keep heading east. Okay. Just had oh, did the dongos respawn? I didn't know that. Okay, this is Oh no, this is the room with the um bomb upgrade. Okay, so I need to go to the other room. And you go up. I was like, wait a minute, they respawn? Dude, I'm not wasting my money. Dude, I'm not wasting this energy to do with all this. Okay, so this is the room that was bombed. So that means I need to go. Okay. Let me go to this room. This is where some more garages will be at. will fuck you over because this will have more um the dongos in it to, and you need the upgrade and you have to get past three set two sets of the dongo so yeah get right on it it sucks here um okay that was the room with grumble grumble guy according to the map we're in the room where the map room is so we need to head east Garias. Crumble, crumble, guy. Crumble, 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 guy. Okay. Busha. Alright. Keep going east. No, do we need to go east? Alright. I'm in the room where the Garias were. Okay. Yeah. Keep going east. Cause I need to bomb the wall here. 
Okay, so we don't have to go through the through A. That's A, by the way. Um, how did they get there? Luckily enough, I have my, um, I have my, my phone. Okay. So, in this room, what we need to do is bomb this wall. I know this one with this Aquaman test. No, okay, good. This is the room you need your, your key for. Hold on. Um, I can take you on. To deal with Aqua. No, no, the deal with Dick Dogger. Okay. Um, we can go up. I'm Dick Dogger. Hold on. Yeah, we need to go up from Dick Dogger. We need to take on the, um... Up from Dick Dogger room, there should be a room full of the Dungo. Yeah, okay. And we need to bomb that wall. We can take on them. It's not worth it. Um, alright, now we're in the room with the wall masters. So what I'm going to do is get my stick. My magical rod. Yeah, something they don't tell you um, is that your rod is effective against the wall masters. And just be careful. Because the wall masters can't sneak up on you. Okay. Um. Yeah, and now that we're able to push this block, we are able to leave the wall masters. So now we should be on our way to the to the boss of the dungeon. All right, go up. So yeah, I figured this would be a great small little. Token of my appreciation of dealing with all of this madness. Alright, so now we are in the proper exit area. So we are in B. From staircase B. And we need to bomb this wall right here. And that leads us to the Aquamentis. Who's the boss of this engine? Alright. There he is, Aquamentus. Take this motherfucker on. Uh, 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 yeah. One more heart, ladies and gentlemen. Uno hearto. Let's go. Triforce, baby. <coughs> Why are people sending me requests on Snapchat? Alright, oh yeah. Yay, we did it. We defeated Dungeon 7. Um, oh no, that's not Snapchat. Okay. So yay, Dungeon 7, defeated, woo, yay. Um, our reward for defeating Dungeon 7, of course, is the right candle, which is the item that allows us to burn things with ease. Next up is Dungeon 8. 
the lion. Items we need for this dungeon. Um, I just get another red potion. So in this dungeon, we have several items we need to obtain. Um, first off, we will have the Triforce of Wisdom will fully be complete. Um, but we will obtain the Book of Magic by Libra de Hamahika, the Magical Key, which is the ultimate key and allows us to um, obtain, go through any door without any issues. And that should be it. Oh god, there's so many bosses. Aqua Mentis. No, no, I believe. Hold on, I'm gonna get this in the new screen. So, <coughs> but, yeah, every oh, it's dark nights and Paul's voice. Oh, this whole dungeon is dark nights. Um, from the entrance, there's a key to the right, surrounded by bubbles, uh, bats, and squishies. There's rupees. To the left. Okay, what is this? Gonna take us to take us to A. Okay, I'm looking for a pool's voice. That's probably not even the right one. Um. Okay, we need that. That's probably the one we need to get through. So we gotta. Who is that? Okay, that's a map. Rupees. The rupees gonna be helpful because I believe there's one, two. Oh God. <coughs> Excuse me. We have two. Goma. Spectacle Rock is the entrance to death. Yeah, that is the last one that tells us where the dungeon is. <laughs> the final dungeon. Um, yeah, we might beat the game today. So I see, I see land, I see Aquamentis, not Aquamentis. I see, God, there's a lot of bosses here. We have two, three, four, five, six, eight boss, seven bosses. Um, Manhandla to the left, Manhandla to the north. Um, a key surrounded by darkness. Um, another key. So where is the? Okay, so yeah, hold on. Need to find out which room has what. So the entrance. Okay. Um, the magical key is to the north. Okay. That takes us to La Libra de la Magica, the Book of Magic. Okay, so I need to. Okay. So, where is the entrance to Dungeon 8? Okay, so the entrance to Dungeon 8 is at the tip of the nose. It is, you need a blue candle to get to it. Okay, so we don't need. Uh, Please turn this thing and not just do what I think you get it. It won't let me in. Oh, I hate when this happens. Hold on. When I say state. I hate when this happens. Gotta exit the game. And I gotta reopen the game so that way I can my controller functions. Sorry, this is happening, you guys. This is this is what I do with. So from where we are standing, I believe the dungeon entrance is to the is on the southern end. Let's 
an ultimate sword? I think so. I know this is the ward. I think it's no, it's north. Okay. Not too far. Sorry about that. I, just, I get these random. I like flooding my damn viewers. I assume I'm streaming. I don't need to fear but I'll take it. Dungeon 8's entrance, and it should be open. Once we get the Book of Magic, we'll be able to, um, and so hold on, I need bombs, cause Manhattan Lab is next up. Turn the dark nets in this dungeon. <sighs> now, you know, my boomerang doesn't do anything to the dark nets. One more blue dark nut left. Damn. Is she up? There it is. La Libra de la Magica. The Book of Magic. So I think it's called Toma Spell in the Japanese version. This book allows us to shoot fire out of our wand. Now we don't really have a need for the candle because the wand is going to be our second light. Alright. Yeah. Alright, going to the... We're out of bombs. Shit. So 
Um, can I skip the dig dogger? I mean, the, the man handler? Oh. Can I skip you, man handler? Where are you? Yeah, Bo, I need bombs to blow up. That area. Like, I'm gonna get more bombs. I knew that was gonna be a problem. Okay, so I gotta go get more bombs. There should be a shop nearby. Get those bombs. Or hell, beat up enemies and I can get more bombs. I have the final bomb upgrade, excuse me, 16 bombs. And I believe there should be a fairy out near here. To the ferry. I need the ferry fountains. Damn. Over one screen. No, that's dungeon two. Down the screen. Over the screen. Up the screen. Over the screen. I mean, I have a blue potion, but still. Go down there. And I believe the freak out should be very hot. Nope, desert. There is a secret to anyone in the desert. I think one of them requires the flute. Okay, this is where the fairy fountain is. Yep. Full heal. And there are two fairies, I believe, in the game. This fairy, and then the fairy to the east near, um, I say Doma. Near um Dungeon Fire. Oh, I forget. I can get a magical shield. Are there any like likes in this dungeon? Hold on. No, pull voice. Pull voice. Dark nuts. No. Another magical shield. There's a cheaper magical shield. I didn't feel like going to go get the one for 30. I mean, for 60. Which is saving me a lot of money, though. Right. Have my giant shield. Fun fact in the later release, no, in this release of Legend of Zelda, they kept the cross, as you can see. Um, in later games, they remove it and give the emblem of the high roll to the Hylian shield. Um, okay, that's not why I Alright. <clears throat> 69 rupees. Nice. Alright. Oops. Sorry, that's not my bombs. Um. Alright, um, to leave out of here, I believe we have to bomb the north wall. And, oh, I need to get my bow ready. Goma! Wait, is this Goma? No. Dark Nuts! No, it's Dark Nuts! It's Dank Nuts! Shit. I'm glad I got 
got my magical shield because holy fuck these are gonna over my ass. Okay, hold on. You do this right now. To the north is a room with more dark nets <coughs> and Goma. Okay. There's a room to the east with two keys. And I'm gonna need those keys. Oh, there's a room. Okay. Staircase A leads us to, I believe, this staircase. Okay. More bombs. Okay. The map. So that staircase is supposed to lead us to a staircase here, okay. There's a key here, okay. So, so we need to go this way. The reason why I'm going this way is because this room, like this bitch up, has a key. side is their red dark nuts and the blue dark nuts. And they offer another key. Okay. From this room going back, there's a room with Goma. We don't need that. We do need to move the compass. I'm gonna go get the compass. Is that like four keys? And there are more keys to the north, so... Uh, the room to the north of here has a Goma. There is no victory in, the, in beating that Goma. That Goma has absolutely nothing for us. <coughs> the room to the north of that Goma is a room to say, Hey, there's a... Um, this is the location of the final dungeon. Alright, pose voice. See ya. Alright, we have the compass. Okay, we can go north. So a room full of dark nets. We don't even need to face these dark nets. Because we have another key. Now we are going to collect booms. Oh yeah, I got my magic now. To work on the dark nets. Because now I have long range magic. Oh god. What is this dungeon? Okay, we can bomb the okay, we can bomb the north wall. And only have several in um Manhattan left. So let me take go and put your bombs away. Manhattan left. for this room. Go mom. With bombs. To the east. Our room full of red dark nuts. With bombs. Okay, we have to 
take on that Goma. Cause that's the room that's gonna give us the, the book. Oh, uh, where's my arrows? No, that's my candle. I need arrows. Thank you. Okay. South of his rupees. Okay. Pull voice. Oh, these pull voice have bombs. Okay. These are just so we can pick up rupees. Okay. Charcoal's room is to the other side, but we can't get to it because we don't have a. Um, Never mind. Alright, um. So let's go this way. Uh, do we have to bomb this room? No, we can walk straight through. Okay. Uh, I am gonna go north though. Just wanna go pick up some more bombs. Here should be. Yeah, room full of dark nets. Ooh, there is a dropping bomb. Good. Okay, so to the east of this room, there's a reason why we needed to defeat the Goma, is because there are dark nets in this room. Blue dark nets, red dark nets, close ways. Remember, dark nets are not impervious to your bombs. I wish the close ways were. Cause then I could check out the puzzle voice. Okay. Okay, so now we can open this pathway. And I believe this leads us to the key. Yes! The master key. This key allows us to have auto key. We do not have to collect keys anymore. Um, I do believe the keys are still rupees. No, it's still regular keys. But because we have auto key, we don't have to worry about keys anymore. Okay, now let's see. We need to go back to the blue dark nut room and head east. This is going my room. Okay. So at least this is blue dark nut room, right? No. Okay, this is... Okay, we need to go south. Again. So, blue dark nut room. Oh, we gotta beat the blue dark nut. That's right. There's fuck common sense. So, we gotta beat the blue dark nut. Get that heart. Barry. Because we know there's dungeon nine left. Um, if we beat this blue dark nut, we'll go to a room full of dark nuts and some poet's voice. Mm. Oh, I'm glad they came up. Okay, so in this room we're in right now, it should be. Um, 
these little blue dark not really. Uh, we can beat these enemies and get a bomb, but we can get to the A entrance. And then that will lead us to a room full of pull voice and a key. We don't need the key. We don't need any of the other items because all the items will be keys. We just need to go to the north. And the north of that room will have the Aquamentus in it. Or the three headed Gliok. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you, enemies. Thank you. Alright. Oh, I'm wasting enemy. I'm wasting ammo. <clears throat> Goodbye. Alright. We need to bomb this door. <sighs> Fucking always move. Thank you. Alright. Boss time. Three headed Gliok. Four headed Gliok. Ah, no, that resets the dungeon. Yeah, figure. Um, but we have auto key. We can just come back. Oh, I think rooms close when we come through again. Fuck. At least I know where to go. I wonder if I find potion lady. I'm gonna refill my potion. I'll make these a little easier. Oh, I'm too far. Right. Yeah, we're almost done, you guys. You just gotta defeat the Optimus. Wait, is this the gym? No. Oh, I might need to save some of these rupees. I just forgot some of these bosses might reload. Uh, excuse me. I'm more for the fairy. And then go southeast for the, um... To go get our, our potion. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I would like to buy some new your magic potion. Alright. Any more bombs? I don't know what a dungeon full of enemies I drop them. <coughs> I mean, I don't need them. Oh no, they don't respond. Take the fucking search. Wait. Shit. I think some of these rooms do have respawns. Yeah. Okay, so I need to beat these losers.
I can skip this room, right? Yeah, I can skip this room. I need to go left. Uh, so I can't see now. Okay, let's go left. until I get to the room. You pieces of shit. I'm lucky that that box is over there. Let's do this. Okay, so, uh, my magic doesn't work against Aquamentus. Good to know that. to this guy here he says the tenth enemy has the bomb but we have all our hearts we have our auto key and we have our last triforce let's go ladies and gentlemen we are now finished with yeah my bank probably is going to be poor um okay All right, but that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the last of the dungeons. We have finally completed. Um, yo, if they tell me my stuff is not cool, I'm gonna be so mad. I hate doing with Android. I really do. Alright. So yeah, that's it. Woo, we did it you guys. We 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 beat dungeon. Um We beat dungeon eight. So now that we've defeated dungeon eight, there's only one more dungeon left. And that is Dungeon 9. That is Death Mountain. And that is, of course, Ganon. So the Magical Key... Well, we have Magical Key. Um, luckily, near Ganon's Dungeon in Death Mountain, there is a potion shop, so we can get it. Um, yes, Prince of Darkness. 
Um, Jesus Christ, this is gonna be very hard dungeon. In the dungeon, we get the red ring, the silver arrows, and we take on Ganondorf himself. The dungeon itself is in the shape of Ganon. Um, oh my god, this is probably the toughest dungeon I've ever had to experience. There are so many enemies here. So the ways the silver arrows. The, the, wow, they won't even let me look at the dungeon map. So from the entrance, there will be a guy who says, he won't let you in once you have all the dungeon people to try to pieces. Okay, that's Ganon. Okay. I mean, we have all the magical upgrades. So we need the compass. Right, land Nola. Oh god, there's so many dark nuts. God, I hate this dungeon. I have to do it because I, I have to 100% the game. So I need to go get a red potion. Um, I don't need any meat. I don't need any extra rupees. As as I know, I'm looking at it. Yeah, land mola. Like light. Blue is robes. Blue is robes. Rose robes are little compasses. Patra. Shield. More Patras. So there's a Patra that's blocking the map. Okay. Blue is Defeat them, I get the red ring. Go to the next room. Those ropes. Okay, this is the silver arrow. So there are keys here, in case you didn't get the master key. We have a master key. Strike him four times, then he'll become brown in your sight as when you're defeating him. Whip out your bow and swing the silver arrow, helping him to explode. While the Typhoid's of power falls in his ashes, grab it and head to the door to the north. Jesus, yeah, this is gonna be my first time taking on Ganon. But I've never took on Ganon buff before. On, in this game. I think for that matter I've ever took on Ganon door. Outside of Smash Brothers. Oh boy. I 
have to worry about the bubbles. I need to farm for rupees because I need them for the magical key. Setting priority is go get the red ring to up our defense. And from there, go and get the silver arrows. Um, looking at it, yeah, Ganon's head is the shape of Dungeon 8. And Dungeon 8 has its own unique music. Um, which no, I think they re, someone said they remixed it in Tetris DS, the Ganondorf music. So while we're grinding and we're collecting stuff so we can take on Ganon Port, um what is it that I want to talk about in this stream? Oh, um, so I got my Twitch review the other day, and I said I was saving it to talk about my Twitch review while I was alive. Um, it's just as bad as I expected. Uh, excuse me. So, don't blame me for voicing my opinion about how I feel about it, because, um, I mean, I am the streamer, so there's a lot of things that I do, I don't like about the Twitch review because it basically just makes me feel like I'm complete shit when it comes to being a streamer. Kind of the same thing with YouTube's whole algorithm thing, but I'll get to that one when I get to it. So, yeah, um, I did, excuse me, I did get my Twitch review. The other day, um, I got it yesterday afternoon, and no, no, days ago. Um, my whole feeling on it is that I don't. I have mixed feelings about the Twitch, about Twitch's algorithm, because it will say on one end that I'm doing exceptionally well, then on the other end it says I'm not doing exceptionally well, and that I need to get better. Um, there's a lot to unpack in that because to me I feel like this as a small streamer I don't get the numbers like other people get you know and that's always going to be something that unfortunately as a streamer I'm always going to be compared to the next to the next streamer it sucks. Yes, I know. Trust me. I hate it just as much as anyone else does. When it comes to the, when it comes to Twitch. How you're always constantly compared to the next streamer. No matter how much you try to differentiate yourself from that streamer. From those groups of streamers or from what you've been told as a streamer. Because it's all a lie. Like you really are at the mercy of a switch of a stream. And you know, some people will, will you know, you just have to try harder. Baby. Let me explain this to y'all very quickly. I've been streaming for over for almost five years now. My first stream went as much as I expected. Like, you are always on your own. Um from when it starts to when it falls. Unless you have a solid stream, like, of people, just wow. Like, it's, it is a dog eat dogs type of world. 
and it, it, it sucked because even right now as I'm talking to you they don't count the amount of people that are in your um was it yeah they don't count the amount of people that are just in your chat they don't count like all the people that are in my chat right now you guys do not count in terms of twitch's algorithm they will say oh they're not they don't count because they're not viewing you need the views so when you ask people to say hey come actually watch the stream instead of just sitting in the chat box that doesn't help either like twitch has a weird algorithm about itself and in that's basically where things pan out for me when i stream is that i can have team people in my twitch chat not one of you will count towards my stream then the categories that they said i quote excel in are Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2004, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship, no, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, and then, um, here's two odd ones, and I know for a fact no one came to these streams, because I know for a fact, because when I look at my algorithms and stuff, like, even right now, I can see I have one viewer right now, but it will say I have five or six people in my chat. For some reason, that's only the people watching are what Twitch will count. They do not count who are viewing. No, they only count the people who are viewing it. They will not count the people who are just sitting in the chat. So, it's awfully strange because they... What did they say? My top four streams were hold on because i can actually look at my stream set for what twitch told me um because guests are ain't nobody's gonna come watch my streams i said say but it's true it's legitimately true um This, we got time. I can talk about it. Okay. So in my Twitch recap, they're taking this long to show me. Okay. So, all right. So in my annual Twitch recap, it says, and I quote, "As a streamer, not as a viewer, as a streamer, it says I have eight clips." I have a CCV of 13 and a broadcast of 122. The hours watched have been 234. Alright. Mind you, they said, and this is from them, they say, uh, we went, you went live in our community for a total of 128 times this year, which, mind you, does not count currently what's going on now, because at the end of the month, because I've been streaming this time and then two times earlier this month so you made a lot of memories which i doubt that because my clips to stay otherwise then they are still talking about that one stream with of your biggest year which was 13 viewers i don't know where these 13 viewers came from um i have no subscribers 18 follow 48 no 58 followers 7k channel points and chat messages of 2k which i want to actually know where that came from um emotes used are servibots band servibots band and co um iron mouse raid which was used five times that was from peachy who i still thank peachy for that um hearts and then cool emotes Okay, top categories of your channel. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. Um, Final Fantasy VI and Pokemon Emerald. K. 
Okay, I have several questions about this. Because first off, who the fuck came during the night in real life stream? Because I don't remember nobody actually being there. Except for maybe TK Knight. And that was one time. Or, no, one, two, three. He was there for about, that was 13 streams, because I can actually look here on my YouTube channel right now. When I switch accounts, go to my live stream set. Oh, uh, it will tell me. And the reason why I know this is because on my end, I can see a lot of the stuff that's been panned out. Because um, you can look at the playlist. So, I've had a total of 11 streams during that. 11 streams. So, you're telling me out of those 11 streams, one of those streams, in addition to Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel, which did take up the whole year because you got Master Duel came out this year. And then Yu Gi Oh! World Championship 2013, which was 13 streams. And then what was the other one? Final Fantasy 13. I mean, four, Final Fantasy 6, which was a total of. I'm looking at it right now. Final Fantasy was a total of 12 streams. Three of those live streams, I fell asleep. You cannot tell me that someone raided me during those. Because there is no possible way that someone was literally in the stream chatting with me during those streams. Because I know none of this adds up. Because when I look at every bit of the algorithm for that scenario and for those streams, there is no way you can legitimately tell me that during these streams, these were my top streams. When I did Puzzle Dragon. I did Sonic games, and you're telling me none of those were my top category? That's what I'm saying. The YouTube algorithm is very weird because I've had multiple people in my Sonic stream. And I kid you not, I cannot make this up because I can legitimately show you exactly what was going on with those streams. No, no, I can legitimately show you right now. Like, there's no way you can sit here and tell me that out of all these streams, my biggest stream was only 13 people. And you don't even tell me which one. You just say it is. And then the only one I can think of is when I streamed on my birthday. Because Peachy rated me. That's why I said I can't trust the algorithm. Because none of it makes sense. You can't sit there and tell the streamer who's watching the streams that I've had a ton of people in my stream. Because I'll tell you, when I was watching Peachy's stream, no, I did not have 13 people viewing the stream. I had a total of 8 people viewing that stream. And that's the highest I've ever had in it. I am I grateful for it? Yes, I'm grateful for it. But I'm also very upset because no matter how much work I put into YouTube or Twitch, I feel like it's never good enough for anybody. And no matter how much work I put into anything that I do, making layouts, planning out streams, doing schedules for streams, it's just not enough. But I don't know where else I can go because I'm doing everything that I was told to do. I was doing everything that I was, you know, this is what you're supposed to do. This is how you're supposed to do it. This is what gets your algorithm up. I was taking advice from 15, 16 different people and no one can sit there and tell me what to, what else should I do? I remember being in one of Johnny's streams and I was even told then, Oh, you just have to continuously do it. Okay, so then what if nothing happens? Then what do you do then? When you put all the numbers together and you still got to leave, have nothing going, what do you do then? And Johnny can even give me an answer. No one can give me an answer. It's like, well, you just have to constantly do it. I've been doing it for over three, four years now, and I'm still where I am. Like, it isn't about the money, because I don't really care. I have a job, I have money. I can easily get my money, I have a job. That still constantly, no matter how many headaches it gives me. I still have a job. I still have, I get an income. My thing is, when I do these things, because this is something that I love to do as a hobby, and I like 
to interact with people? Where are the people that I need to interact with? Where are, where are they? Because my friends surely are not here. No matter how many times I've been to one of their streams, and I've sat there in their live streams, and I've chopped in exactly what I wanted from them, or I gave to them, I don't get out of them for when it comes to when I need things done. Or I'll ask for the help of, hey, come to the live stream, sit there in the chat, and talk with me, and interact with me. I mainly had five people do that. It's funny. Like, it just stems from more shit that I have, have dealt with. So when I look at a yearly algorithm from YouTube, I always say it's, from Twitch, I always say it's bullshit. Because no matter how much I do, none of these numbers add up. And none of these numbers make any sense. And I'm like, where do you get these numbers from? Because your numbers and my numbers surely do not add up. Like, at all. So it's like, I don't know what else to do, because no one else knows what else I can do. As well as, like, I didn't want to talk about my YouTube stuff or my Twitch stuff because none of it adds up in my favor. Or none of it makes sense. Because no matter how much I've done, it's still none of it makes any sense. That's a slight. That's a nice, like, line of the things and everyone talking about their algorithms and stuff and just like. That's cool, bro. Like, that's great. You have that. Because I don't have any of that. And I have to work more than any of you have to. That's cool. Okay, so I'm two hours in. I need to take me a break because I need to use the restroom and need to get me something to eat. So I'll be back. Um, I'll leave, well I can easily just leave the background music on, you guys can listen to us out there.
I'm back. Oh, where is my controller? Sorry, I have to go get something to eat. Uh, and then it took a minute, so. Alright, it's time to do this. Where are we? Fuck, are you serious? My controller just went out again. to exit out. for this dungeon. Um, the dungeon is actually to the north of us, but to get to it, we have to come through a certain way, so, um, oh, it's gonna be a minute to get to dungeon 9, or level 9 as it's called, so let's see, um, I need to replenish my heart, I should have enough for the potion, Fill up. So I need one more fill up. Um, we'll be fine. Just, uh, it is the longest dungeon in the game. Because it's the biggest dungeon in the game. Buy a potion before you go. So I think if I buy just a second blue potion, it should make my potion get yeah, red. Okay. Now that that's dealt with, we are gonna go to dungeon nine. We're gonna go to the suspicious rock. And but okay, there it goes. So we're gonna go to the suspicious rock, um, which I believe is taking the last exit. Yeah, so take the this one and then go. And I believe. Should take us to Ganon. If it doesn't take us to Ganon, then I'm just going the wrong way. Hmm. Yeah, Ganon's dungeon. Um, level nine. Um, is in Death Mountain. Uh, it's the. It's to be very honest with you. It's not a dungeon I'm looking forward to. And I'm kind of glad I do have Zelda Dungeon up right now, because I don't think I could get through Zelda Dungeon, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, get through Dungeon 9. Let's say, fuck, I ain't going the wrong direction. Um, hold on, I need the, I need... Get back to. I want to say it's Dungeon Six that's gonna take me there. Actually, I'm gonna figure it out. So I can go and get my um, my stuff. I can heal from the fairy fountain because there's no fairy fountain. On Death Mountain. It's funny though, because like in later dungeon, later Zelda games, there are multiple fairy dungeons, fairy fountains um, around the dungeon. The ways to heal. What is the place for? I think it's the last item, because the blue ring becomes the red ring. 
And we already have the arrows, they just change a different color. What is that? It's not bugs. It's not the flukes, I have the flukes. Fuck, I forget what the other item is. Yeah, because I know it's not the arrow. Is it the shield? No, is it the shield? Oh, it could be the shield. I don't know um, what it could potentially be. Let's pick up this. Oh, never mind, hard to finish. Okay. I do have my map up for Dungeon 9 um, as well. Um, for those who are probably going to ask what is going to be the next game after this, uh, I can't tell you because I don't know myself. I'll probably just leave another poll up online so people can see. Um, uh, because I said 20. 2023 uh, will start off with uh, Pokemon Emerald. I mean, Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green. Well, it'll be Leaf Green and won't be Fire Red for many reasons. Of, um, I have no real attachment. I actually don't like Fire Red. Um, so that's part of the reason why it won't be Fire Red. It'll be Leaf Green. And a lot of Pokemon I do want are going to be in that game. And actually, that'll be the last... Why is it reconnecting? God damn it. I'm not having graphic issues. Please tell me I'm not having issues. Okay. It might just be my internet. I hate when this happens. But, yeah, um... My god, where's my game? But yeah, uh, I'm gonna start off 2013 with Fire Red and Leaf, with Leaf Green because I don't have any interest in Fire Red. I actually don't like the fact that in Gen 3's remake of Gen 1, they decide to split everything. I'm like, you know, who thought this was a smart idea? I believe going up here. Oh shit. And I think the dungeon is to the left. And I think further away from it should be a lady with a potion. Guys, we need another potion. And then a whole bunch of Lionels. Funny enough, Lionels are not in the dungeon. But that'd be fucking scary if they were actually in there because they're actually competent enemies. Opened up the Janai. I probably not. No, I don't think I am. You know, I think I went the wrong direction. Is it this one? 
No, okay, I was in the wrong area. No, because that's not a fairy fountain. Okay, and that's the arrow that points us into the other direction. Okay. Dungeon 9. And in here is the lady with the potion. Buy my medicine before you go. Yep. Yeah. We're actually gonna use the potion now to fill up our hearts and then go back in to buy a second potion. Because I'm sure again this dungeon is going to be loaded with tons of enemies. That's definitely going to give me money. Alright. I only need 40 to make it a full. Oh, let me move my full wash. Alright. So it's time to take on Ganondor in Dungeon 9. Alright. So the first door is the entrance and he will tell you that if, yeah, if you come here and you don't have all the Triforce pieces, um, they will turn you back. He said he will not allow you in unless you have all the Triforce pieces. So, Alright, so first off, yes, since there are the Triforce pieces, the old man will allow it to go by, um, so the map should be above us. We need to blast the door to the north. Okay. So we're following this so we can get to the first dungeon item, which is, I believe, the red ring. Okay. Which is in the corner. Um, so let's get to the map. So. From where we stand, I gotta make sure everything is correct. So where we are, we need to go to the north. Uh, oh, okay. Well, fuck. There goes my magical shield. Okay. Um. Oh, I went the wrong way. Uh, okay. Well, fuck. I just lost my magical shield. No, I still have my magical shield. Oh, okay. Um, going to the left. A room of witch robes and a room full of um, blue and red witch robes. Okay. Cross here. Bomb this door. Okay. I'm going through it. I should be in a room with Landmola. Three land mola. Okay. Come on, land mola. Um, bomb the north wall, the east wall, and the west wall. Okay. From near, we need to. Oh, press this. Move this block. And head down. So this 
this is staircase A. Look for keys. Okay, and we should be on with light light. And we need to head to the east. Oh no, I need to get rid of my bombs so I can use. As long as there's no fucking wall masters, I think I should be fine. Okay, so which door do they want me to go? Uh, best to avoid these enemies if you would like to get to compass. Bomb the wall below. Okay, so if we want the compass, the next room is three woods roads. We can bomb the southmost wall. Go south. And we'll shoot in over the room with two red wall masks. I mean, okay, just head south. Go eastern and head south. That should lead us to the compass. Defeating the wizard ropes. Head. You'll find a brand new. Okay. Jump in. Back to screens and take the door to the right. Enemy to picture the Patera. So to defeat this enemy, um, destroy the circling enemies around it, and then attack its head. Good thing I got up on the ocean. Wow. Oh, because I pressed A and not B. At least I got the compass. <sighs> Dungeon 9, everybody. So... Dungeon 9. Okay. <laughs> 
keep swinging the sword. Okay, so we got the bombs. And what do we do from this room? We head south. Because we'll be back going north. Okay. So let's head south. Jellies! Room full of rupees. Okay. And go east through a bomb of a wall. From that room, we're in the room with the map. Oh, and another one of these things. Uh, there's a bomb of a wall to the north. Fuck it, just go north. Oh, fuck, it's Wizards and like Bomb well, me up a room, but I have a room full of Wizards coming up. Okay. And I have to fight these guys to Luckily it's just quiz ropes. <clears throat> Cause oh god, if it was worse, if it was dark nights, I'd be fucking screwed. Okay, push this up. And we got the red ring, baby. So the red ring ups our defenses. Red green. All right. Next, silver arrows. All right. So, if we want the map, we gotta kill the eyeball thingy. Um. So next up is we need to head back to the room where the first um pitch red thing was, and bomb that wall. So. Uh, this is the map if we want the map. Um. Oops, fuck it. Let's go get the map. Alrighty here. Alright, bam. Yeah, it's in the shape of Ganon's face. Um. We can unlock these doors. We already have the um, auto key. So, to the south of this room are bats and jellies. And another one full of blue ropes. So, we want to go north. And now we're on our way to the silver arrows. Um, we need to unlock this door. There should be an old man here. He says, go to the next room. Uh, he wants you to bomb it. Yep, where's Rose? My least favorite enemy in the game. So anyone who's gonna ask, why don't I like the Rizzo's? Because the Rizzo's move to damage. Okay, so from this room, we need to move that second block. 
and it leads us to a staircase. Excuse me. So I'm full of jellies. So okay. I don't know where to my bow. to the left. I'm gonna open the doors though. And it will lead us to a room full of keys. To get some rupees, cool. Oh yeah, cause like two doors ahead of us is fucking Ganon door. Um, from this room, we need to head to the next door <laughs> and kill the Petria. There's a key here, and we don't have the magic key. Push the block and head through the staircase. Okay. Wait, does this lead us to the red ring? I mean, no, this leads us to the silver arrows. Okay. So take this room and take it to go to the silver arrow. Take a death once I get my arrows. Okay, where's Rhodes? Oh, shut up. No way, I got the stopwatch. Let's go. Okay, and press the middle block in. And that is our silver arrows. The only upgrade in this game to your air regular arrows. Oh, hold on. I'm going to do right. Silver arrows. Okay. And now it's time to go beat up Ganon Pork. Um There are a lot of rooms that are gonna have like likes in them. Great. All right, but we have the silver arrows. Those are mandatory. You need those to defeat Ganon. All right, I'm gonna go through here. Um, We need to go back to the previous room. Okay. And head up the screen. Let's 
rear room with life likes in it. Oh, I went the wrong way. I was gonna say bomb a wall and go east. Fuck. I get trapped. Okay, now lead me to the main path. Okay. This room? Go south. To the room. Okay. And then in here, place a bomb. Now lead me to a room full of Gojiras.
just leave me back in one. If I go north, okay, that's where I might need to be. Because it'll lead me to this road, right? What do you like, Clay? leads me to the exit. I just die. Alright, 
We have our HP healed. Now it's time to go beat up Ganon Pork. Okay. Oh, just while I'm losing this, we gotta do all that backtracking. So we get to a room where we need to go south. So we actually just go south. Yeah, go south and don't lead me to cannon. Actually, no, I want to go to Dungeon 6. Do not have me sitting here flooding through different engines.
しよしよしStarting to bring our fight to him. Let's go, Mars. <coughs> I wonder if this reset everything.
not to work the wrong way. Okay, after you got the silver arrows, where do you go? Come on, you guys, I'm trying to figure this out. Silver arrows. Because it should be... So I went too far. From the room where the silver arrows are, I need you to go back. A room full of white light and head up. So another room full of light and pass them. a bomb to the left most wall and go that way. Okay. Fuck. Ain't my shield. Defeat the Rizzo's and push the block to the most left. Okay. From this room, bomb the eastmost one. Okay, this is it.
Okay. And the next room is Ganon. And I got everything. Alright, let's do this. Let's take it. Oh, wait. Hold on. I need my shield. I need my silver arrows. Alright. Ganon, Paul. I don't know where he is. It's just safe to keep stabbing. There he goes. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, arrows. Yes! We did it! We beat Ganon. Thank you, thank you, for, you are the hero of Hyrule. Ah, lights. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. The end. All right, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We are the we have finished. Uh, the Legend of Zelda. It took me three sessions, but we did it. And here's staff credits. Another quest will start from here. I start to Nintendo. All right, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is what is sixty-six? Oh, I think sixty-six deaths. But yeah. Excuse me. That is it. That is the end of the Legend of Zelda. We have finished the game. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me on this amazing journey through the world of Hyrule. Um, and for defeating Ganondorf. Um, that insignia means that we have all of the items uh, in the game. And we have all of the... So there is second quest. I'm not doing second quest. There's no need for me to do second quest. Second quest is just a harder variation of um, Zelda 1. And no, I'm not doing second quest. Second quest um, changes the game completely. For those who don't know. Uh, oh god, it changes so many different things. Dungeon layouts, location of dungeons, item um, locations. Um... Dungeon 5 and 6, you're going to need to buy keys and Grumble Grumble Guy. So, yeah, it is a lot with Second Quest. Um, but if anything, this has got to be one of the most memorable things that I've done. Because now I can officially say I have beaten Zelda 1. Um, and I do thank the amount of people here that uh, joined me in this. So, yeah, that is it for Zelda 1. Um, it's a short list game. It's a good couple of hours sit down if you know what you're doing. But my overall opinion of Zelda 1 is that it's, for the time that it came out, it's an amazing game. Later Zelda games do what this game does, but better. Um, especially with the open world aspect. The, uh, excuse me dungeon layout and then just the additional amount of stuff that comes with in Zelda 1 and I think many of us who have played the Legend of Zelda series can actually tell you a lot of the games get better and better depending on what game you're interested in. Fun fact, Zelda 1 is not officially the first Zelda game in terms of the timeline in which uh, Nintendo has officially released for the Zelda series. This one falls on the timeline, I believe, if the hero loses, but doesn't win. It's a weird algorithm for Zelda 1. But, yeah, we can officially say that I have now beaten Zelda 1. So, yeah, this is a nice trip and trope. Um, 
where do I even go from here? Because there are so many things that you can honestly say about Zelda 1 and just the overall experience, I think. It's just honestly um, an amazing experience. It really is. Um, with that said, um, I don't have anything else planned. And I'm off for the next two weeks because of uh, work. Um, I am not on, I'm now on vacation, actually, from work. So I won't be returning to work till August, no, not August 1st, January 4th because of the holiday season. So um, I want to try to get a couple of games in and out so that way I can have some things up on the stream channel. Um, for many of you who are in the chat right now, um, thank you guys so much because we still have a couple of more days to the end of the year. We're what, uh, the 19th, so we still have all of this week, Christmas, the week after Christmas, and then the things that fall in between those sections. So, yeah, there is just a lot of stuff to unpack here, and I can't wait to unpack question one. Um, I don't have a solid lineup of things that I want to do, but I think what I'll do is I'll probably just post things together to be like, hey, this is the lineup. If you guys are interested, these are the games that can potentially be played. I think for the most part, um, I do need to return to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, because there is an update for Master Duel. We have the starting night. Um set well it's like not set the starry nights are out um in master duel and i do need to um go through that scenario and then um there's not much for the christmas section of puzzle and dragon so there isn't too much there um damn i have nothing planned for the next couple of days um, I guess that's a oops my bad situation. Like I said, I didn't know because I didn't really think I would, um, just due to all the health stuff going on. So, um, I didn't think I was going to have a chance to do. So I guess that's why I have a chance and I have to give attention to people. Um, I can at least explain what's going on. So, a few weeks ago, what was that? Two weeks ago. Um, I think I want to ask you cold. I'm still recovering from said cold because I don't know if it's, um, what is it, a uh, respiratory, upper respiratory infection, RV, yeah, IV, no, URV. Um, I don't know if it's the flu because the flu has been going around, um, as of late. That's because of my line of work. I am surrounded by children. So, there is a possibility that the children could have been potentially sick and it could have spread it to me. So, that is a thing. Um, and unfortunately, it caused um, some more things to happen because, uh, for those that don't know, I was supposed to stream last weekend. And unfortunately, that did not happen um, just due to the circumstances that are currently going on. So, I know a lot of people were probably asking me about why I didn't stream. That was part of the reason was because I was unfortunately sick, so I couldn't stream um, as I had planned. The next thing was that um, I unfortunately lost my aunt during Thanksgiving, and it's been a rough thing on the family because there's a lot of stuff that's still going on. Things that I cannot explain because it because due to our family privacy, um, we had a great not to talk about it as far as that goes and is concerned. So that was another reason why it took off. Um, I was initially planning to come back this weekend um, and did for some stupid reason and I cannot explain to you how dumb things get out when they're out of your control. My internet went down. So we didn't have internet since, what's today, Monday? So we didn't have internet from Saturday afternoon so about now. So now we have 
um, to this morning, I'm sorry, so we had internet. Um, so that's why I'm able to stream now. There is a couple of little hicks and ticks there. Um, that's just because, of course, it's the, um, it's the weekend where everybody's back now. So, that is a thing. That is a thing. Um, I don't know, a lot of people are probably just overall excited that things have now transpired to where, okay, we can finally sit down and, um, you know, explore the fruits of our library, yeah. So, I don't, okay, I don't have anything planned and everything that I was initially going to do um, just did not pan out the way I wanted. But I want to try to make the best of it for my audience and hopefully um, things later on in the future do get a lot more set up. So, I'm trying to knock this cold as soon as possible and hopefully that it doesn't become too strenuous on me. Because you can tell my voice is just, it's it's crying. Um, that it's trying to get back to itself. If that makes any sense, I hope that makes any sense. If it doesn't, um, just, you know, my, due to being sick, it has hurt my voice. Um, I'm still coughing up phlegm in that sense. And then, like, I'll have tired spells which I heard is normal, so I don't know if that's news. I did take COVID tests to check to make sure this wasn't COVID. Um, I'm actually due for another test now because I took one Friday afternoon, so it tested negative, so I need to take another one. But this is funny because a week before that, I did take a COVID test, and it said I was negative. So I don't think it's COVID. It could just be the flu. Everyone... I know at work has been catching the same thing of coughs and being very tired and stuff like that. So it's just another one of those things that just unfortunately happens. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut down The Legend of Zelda since um, we're officially done with Zelda. Um, I don't have any, like I said, I don't have too many games in the process. I was like, hey, let's go back to these and this just because of right now. I kind of unfortunately wouldn't plan on that. So, oops. My bad. But I think a lot more things are going to possibly pop up later on. Um, I'm trying to think what games I said. Because I have a ton of them. I have a library full of things that are ready to go. Um, just to follow up with things that are currently together right now. So. I think I'll get a lot of people excited just to see what interactions of things I have coming um, in that sense. So, oh boy, yeah, it is a long time. I'm not even joking. I wish it wasn't. Oh. I'm trying to think like what other stuff. Um, Stands out like later on in this because there's a couple of things that I'm actually if, not, not saying that I'm expecting, I'm just waiting for to see what those look like. Um, and just write down everything and figure out right because I know I did talk about earlier the things of what's coming next on the way out. I'm sure people are actually excited to see that. Huh? I actually don't know myself. Damn, can I put shit together and have it process? Sorry, I'm I'm very unorganized on this stuff because I think try to put a middleman to it. <sighs> it happens. Um like I really just don't know what it is, but just in terms of what is together right now, huh? And it happens. <laughs> it does. Um. Okay, so Yu-Gi-Oh. More Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, um. Okay, actually, I don't have any plans on returning back to World Championship 2004. Um, I 
because it's due to some other stuff that I have going on. So, eh, it happens. All right, ladies and gents. Well, I guess it's time for me to go because there's really much else to put in the middle of this, huh? Um, let me get things lined up real quick so I can have things going. I guess you guys know that. Um, <gasps> all right, it's on in the stream. So that means we're gonna lose it in stream. All right, so um, if you guys like to catch any of my current content, uh, you definitely can on uh, following this link right here, um, for my main channel. Uh, then on top of that, uh, the archive channel, which is next up. Uh, fuck, can I spell? There we go. Um, that is the archive link. So. Art on oh, my link. Hold on. I'll say chatbot. It's not showing up in the chat box. That's weird. It should show up. I don't know why it's not showing up. Um, it should. I don't. Oh, it's not showing me. It can't be a browser source situation so she never browser source. Um Okay. Yeah, I'm very confused as to why my stuff in my chat is not showing up. Is it showing up on the main? No, it's not showing up on the main either. Hold on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So it's going to show up on the end screen? Yes, it is. Okay. So I don't know. It's probably just a bug, but um, YouTube link, um, Twitter link, archive. Um, IG Discord. Okay, so there it goes. Those are all the links to all the different aspects of the channel. So, if you guys have any questions and stuff, you can always reach me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log off. Because, oh my god, my voice is killing me and it's, I'm, I'm tired. But thank you guys so much for coming. I do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And I'll probably catch you guys either tomorrow or Wednesday for, uh, excuse me, for the next session of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So, till then, thanks everybody for coming. And I'll catch you all next time. ACJ, signing out. Take care. Mm -hmm.